actually not that cold for winter. Kind of a major downgrade today in terms of the vessel I'm using, but I'm kind of trying to set an example of how easy it is to actually get out on the water and do a little bit of you know deep water fishing. Not really deep water, just offshore. This is a cheap, crusty old soft top, eight foot longboard. I got a little backpack with me with some swim baits. A little bait caster. And I'm gonna go pocket fish the reef. Fish the little holes, jig some swim baits around. Technically, rockfish season isn't open until April 1st. So if I do catch one, I can't keep it. But, you know, there's all sorts of stuff. Could be a white sea bass in there. Who knows? I don't know what I'm fishing for. If I catch a rockfish, it's coming back, but it'd be nice to catch something during the winter. But yeah, I'm just gonna paddle to the outer edge of this kelp bed here. We're gonna see if we can find some fish. Might even come off the kelp bed. Find the sand, see if there's some halibut. They have been getting a couple. Probably haven't moved in shallow though. I'm only fishing like 15 feet of water. But yeah, let's get out to the spot. It's gonna be a little bit wet. It's all right. All right, so I made it out to the outside edge of the cup bed. As you can see, past this point, it's just open water. But there's the cup bed. I'm only about a quarter mile out. And there's not very much swell today. It's like less than two feet, a little bit of wind but the kelp kind of breaks the chop up a little bit. So yeah, I've got a handful of swim baits, maybe like four of them, and I'm just gonna paddle around, find little pockets in the seaweed and drop it straight down and jig. That's the game plan. It's not very deep, so I'm probably only gonna use like one ounce. We'll see what we can get. I'm gonna start here, let the current push me in, and I've caught fish all the way up to like six feet of water so we're gonna give this a shot I've got a feeling we're gonna do pretty good today at least just get a nice variety of different species yep that's all there is to it you don't need much to get out here anything that floats basically and of course you're not gonna want to do this on a day where there's a lot of a lot of swell when it's flat like this it's almost like a lake you can come out here no problem just don't get eaten by a shark Okay, shitty old backpack. And I literally just tossed these lures in the bottom. But I think I'm gonna start with this sort of red and brown one with the flake. It's a one and a half ounce jig head, kind of rusty and old, but it'll do the trick. And fishing kind of a nice reel for this. Probably should have brought something that's a little bit more disposable, I guess, because. You know, you're gonna get wet launching. But 40 pound braid, seven and a half foot rod. And then I got a 60 pound mono leader on it, but it's kind of overkill. All you need is like 30. Okay, start fishing. All right, general plan here, pretty simple. I'm not trying to fish in the big mats of kelp. I want to find sort of a spot in between that I can drop the swim bait down to the bottom without getting snagged up. Let it hit the bottom and just lift it off and jig it. And generally you're going to get bit pretty fast if there's a fish around. If you don't get a bite, creep on over to the next spot. A lot of time they hit it on the drop, so I like to keep a tight line, just so I can feel them take it. Make sure the swim bait's doing its job, looks great. 
pitch it up to that next hole. Let it hit the bottom. Retrieve it up slowly, because they will chase it up to the surface. You want your drag kind of tight too, just so you can muscle them out. If this presentation doesn't work, I think I'll move on to something a little bit smaller. Yeah, just work those little holes, the little spots in between the kelp. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Caught halibut in here too. The little sandy pockets on the edge of the kelp bed, they'll sit there. There's one. There's one. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh yeah. Mr. Ling. Mr. Ling. Sick. Look at that thing. Hell yeah. Stud. Well, not really. Probably about 25 inches, but nice link cod. For this shallow, super cool fish. Slam that little swim bait. Like I said, it's not rockfish season, so I can't keep this, but awesome catch either way. Look at that. All right, we'll let him go. Goodbye. Super fun. All right. <laughs> I've probably been out here like 10 minutes. Let's go find something else. All right, I don't really like to do this, but there's a channel right here and this kelp's kind of laying over it, but it's not actually growing underneath. So I'm gonna punch this through the top layer should be pretty opened up underneath. We'll see if there's anything sitting in there. There's one. Oh, missed it. Oh, there he was again.
I think I want to call it one nice little link. It's fun, but yeah, if you want to come out here and do this, it's super easy. Get a surfboard, paddle out, throw a swim bait. You could probably drop a squid down too. A lot of fish, real fun. It's almost like bass fishing, pitching in under docks and stuff, trying to find structure and catch those fish. That's what it reminds me of. But yeah, we'll see if we can get anything good this month. March is kind of the beginning of fishing season. April's a little bit better, but we start to see some striper in March, so hopefully got some more videos coming out ASAP. But yeah, until then, see you next time.